Good afternoon, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, please hit that subscribe button. We're talking about Cardano today. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers. I cannot do it without you. I need you to touch that red button for me. Once we get to 10K, we are going to 10X and go to 100K. I believe in you guys. Hit that subscribe button for me. I got my hot tea and hunting locked and loaded, ready to go. We're talking about Cardano today, guys. And looking at the price, I know there's a lot of FUD. A lot of FUD out there. People are restless. People are like, what is going on? I bought at $1.45 and now it's a dollar. This is a scam. I am out of crypto. I'm selling all my ADA and moving to Matic. I'm moving my ADA to AVAX. I'm moving my ADA to um, what other shit coin at whatever shit coin other than ADA it is. And that's it. I'm done. Woe is me. That's what I. That's all I hear. And I'm, and I'm tired of it. It's 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 absolutely ridiculous. I mean, guys, <laughs> you know we're we're up literally almost two thousand percent on the year. Like that's absolutely insane. After months and months and months of promises and delays and delays and delays and you know moved goalposts. We finally have Shelly. People weren't satisfied with Shelly. Now, we're literally almost a month away from Alonzo being announced. And people are like, Ghost Chain. People are like, oh, there, there's still no smart contracts running on Cardano. Meh, meh, meh. Not even noticing that we've had almost 600 new tokens minted on the Cardano blockchain within the last week alone, bruh. They, they don't even pay attention to that. They don't even pay attention that you can get 5%. Or more staking your Cardano from the comfort of your own home right now on Daedalus Wallet. They don't, they don't even want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. But what they want, what they want to talk about is <clears throat> straight up lies, FUD. And I, I, I'm tired of it, guys. I'm tired of it. So what I want to say to all the trolls in my comment section, welcome. I still love you. You know, ain't nothing changed. You're always welcome here. You're always welcome to comment. I ain't never going to block anybody unless you're, you know, scamming. I'll get to that in a few minutes. But keep that same energy. I said this with VeChain. Take a look. Six months back, guys, when we were down bad, bro. When we were stuck under one cent. When the FUD was at the highest level. All right? I said, keep that same energy. You talking all the mess right now. <laughs> but when we go up, I want you to keep commenting that same stuff. I want you to keep trolling. You know why? Because that would make me seem, that would make you seem genuine. But they're not genuine. You know why? Because as soon as we rose up, quiet, crickets, literal crickets. I, I don't know where none of my trolls went. They all gone from six months ago. Now we got some new ones. But are they going to stick around? Are they going to keep that same energy? I don't think so. So that's all I'm saying. You know, we haven't moved in price, quote unquote, in the past couple of weeks. But when we do move in price, please, I want you to keep commenting what you're commenting down there. I want you to keep trolling on Twitter. Because, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, I'm just hodling. Ain't nothing changed with me. Stacking ADA and chilling. Stacking V chain and chilling. So sell your bags to me. I'll buy them up at these low, low prices. I ain't worried about no ADA at a dollar, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Talk to me when ADA gets to 20. Talk to me when ADA gets to 30. And you know what? There will be more FUD when ADA gets to 30 than there is right now. That's so sad. Moving on. Staking report about 18 hours ago. Thank you to Viper Stake Pool. We are 92% decentralized, guys. We're still waiting for that Coinbase listing. It could happen after we're 100% decentralized, but you never know. Coinbase is on another one. Oh, and before I forget, I done got caught up in my rant so much. Guys, there are people 
there are scammers in the comment section that are impersonating me, trying to get you to go to WhatsApp, trying to get you to go to, you know, these sites. Um, I'm never going to contact you to give you financial advice or to increase your profits. Um, I'm, I don't use WhatsApp. So please, you know, don't send your ADA to random people on the Internet. Like use common sense if you wouldn't mind. Thank you so much. Um, you know, these people who impersonate me are low lives and there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I tell YouTube, I report the spammers, but they just keep creating new accounts. And uh, yeah, so just be careful. There are scammers. I'm never going to personally contact you. All right. So taking a look. K parameter is still at 500. That's going to change soon, guys. The K parameter is going to be at a thousand. And that's going to mean that um, your pool right now. Whatever whatever pool you're staking in right now has a limit of 64 million ADA. When the K parameter gets to 1,000, your pool will be saturated at 32 million ADA. So just remember that, guys, all right? This is, this is not really a passive investment here. You got to move your ADA around, um, especially if your stake pool manager isn't really looking for saturation and stuff um so you gotta you know pay attention to the saturation levels of your pool uh right now there's 317 million ada that's almost 317 million dollars getting less rewards because they're in oversaturated pools and it's going to be a lot more guys it's going to be a lot more when k gets to a thousand there are 53 saturated pools right now all right, make sure that your pool is not oversaturated. Okay, so <clears throat> as we can see here, uh, the active state keeps increasing. This is good. Hopefully, the oversaturated pools decrease. Um, we need to incentivize um, decentralization. Uh, the reason why the K parameter is going to increase is because they want people to spread it out. Obviously, we know. We understand that there are certain coin, there are certain stake pool operators out there that create multiple stake pools, but it's within their right, guys. If we're going to be 100% decentralized, there's nothing to stop, you know, somebody from creating multiple businesses. There's nothing to stop people from, you know, like Walmart coming into your <laughs> neighborhood and destroying all the, you know, all the small businesses around. You got to compete. All right. You got to compete. So. When I get more subscribers, probably, I'm probably going to open up a stake pool. I've been thinking about it, um, but right now, I just don't have the ADA to make blocks. But uh, as I get more, as people trust me more and as people, you know, listen to me more, I think I'll release a stake pool and I'll have actually a chance of making a block because right now you just need too much ADA in order to make a block um unless you're you know lucky so uh there's there's a lot of there's some good stuff and there's some bad stuff about being a stake pool operator but hey that's that's the nature of life so that's the stake report now guys k uh we're, we're, um the decentralized parameter should be ending um soon uh march 31st we should be at 100 percent decentralization so this is going to be awesome We've got Emergo, guys. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, Emergo has created the Yoroi wallet. They are a trusted partner of Cardano. Um, it is not just us talking. The numbers that count as a successful landmark in our high demand program. Foundations of blockchain with Cardano overview uh, need more reasons to enroll. So there's a, uh, you know, a complete <laughs> course in uh, an overview of Emergo and of cardano so if this is something that you're interested in please go ahead and click the link learn about cardano here um i think this is awesome they have 95 954 hours of blockchain content um 18 plus institute collaborations of academics uh they have you know everything you would need here so if you're interested in learning more about cardano go ahead and join the link here
All right, guys. So this is awesome. I didn't know this. Uh, shout out to Solomon Obdanyo. IOG's Cardano Project Catalyst grows to becomes the world's largest DAO in less than seven months, guys. This is awesome here. Uh, Cardano um, has some hours to go, hinted at the significant growth and development of Cardano's Project Catalyst. If you guys don't know, guys, Project Catalyst is the decentralized government that we've been working on. It's amazing. There's a lot of stuff you can vote on. Guys, there's 2.5 billion 2.5 bill with a B, 2.5 billion dollars allocated to improving the Cardano blockchain, guys, just from Project Catalyst alone. All right, what other protocol do you say has that much money that they can use on upgrading? According to the tech firm, Project Catalyst has grown to become the largest decentralized autonomous organization in the world in less than seven months of its emergence. Guys, there are 16,000 people that signed up for Catalyst. <laughs> absolutely crazy insane in less than seven months project catalyst has grown to become the world's largest down this is just the beginning we're setting ambitious goals for 2021 and encourage everyone to be a part of bringing full on-chain governance to cardano guys once once smart contracts comes out once the alonzo hardcore comes out i wonder what the fudsters are gonna say they ain't gonna have nothing to say anymore it's gonna be a wrap <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Um, let's take a look at this video. Quick summary. What's the status? Okay, so fund four. We have a million dollars. We want to get to, to around $15 million fund size by end of the year. In a scale, we have around 15,000 members. We aim to get to 20,000 so by the end of the year. So we're really well on course. We wanted to get 50% of ADA participating in voting, so we're now at a, a very nice 10%, still a bit away to go to the 50% we want to get to. We had just a bit below 20,000 unique voters, unique wallets registering to vote. That was actually our, our yearly goal, <laughs> so we, we got that off, and so now we're moving the goalposts. Next is, let's get to 40,000 unique voters. Uh, we want to move from 238 proposing teams to around a thousand propo to, to a thousand proposers, so we are at 238, and we want to get to a thousand active community advisors. Right now, we're sitting around 160. Then we have the number of referrers. So referrers are people that bring in new proposers. So they refer people to proposing catalyst, and they win they win um, rewards uh, if. The people, the, the proposer they refer to actually gets funded. There's like a really nice incentive. I believe it's like, uh, I think it's like about 1% of all the, all the treasury just goes for referrers as incentive. And, um, in terms of town hall participants, we're looking at the average views on, on YouTube and in the town hall. Uh, so we're, uh, of, of the last four town halls. So we're almost at 7,000. Our goal is to get to 10,000 viewers. I don't know how to tell you, it's amazing statistics. Amazing growth, one of the most impressive aspects of this project. Guys, this stuff is serious. Get on Car get on Catalyst. Um, so a little bit more about Catalyst is the known first stage in the Voltaire roadmap. It's an ongoing experiment in exploring decentralized innovation and collaboration at its highest level. Project Catalyst tasks the participants to pool their ingenuity, creativity, coupled with the passion to identify big projects that support the growth of ADA. So, you know, this is one of the, the uh, projects that I'm really most bullish about. I love it. Uh, make, being able to make decisions on the Cardano blockchain without totally forking it and splitting the community is something that's going to stand the test of time, guys. Um, yeah, I thought that this was interesting. Now, uh, we're going to go into uh, this here. It's kind of a long audio podcast. This is about extended UTXO. I think this is important. I've been trying to wrap my head around it. Um, but extended UTXO, to me, please, you know, <laughs> I'm no developer or anything like that. Or, you know, I'm definitely not an accountant. Um but extend it to UTXO accounting model. It's kind of like, you know, how 
if I got a hundred dollars and the price of a burger is five dollars and thirty cents, well, you know, you give me back fourteen seventy. And that's the unspent transaction. Like that's the unspent transaction output. You giving me back the thirteen seventy is the unspent transaction output. Now I had twenty dollars, but now I have thirteen seventy because I bought a five dollar and thirty. Um, I know my math is wrong. Y'all can laugh at me in the comment section, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Um, I hope. So let's take a look at this. It's about five minutes. Uh, I think it's important. I'm going to play it anyway. If you guys want to bounce, I totally understand. Uh, this is the last um, story in the day. So after this, we're going to do Patreons and head on out. I love each and every one of you guys. Hit that subscribe button for me if you're going to bounce out, though. Uh, we're trying to get to 10K subscribers, and I can't do it without you. I love you. Let's get on with it. Chain networks are complex data structures. Transactions continuously crisscross the chain, creating digital footprints that require careful tracking and management to maintain the integrity and reliability of the underlying ledger. Two major accounting ledgers exist in the blockchain space, UTXO-based blockchains like Bitcoin, for instance, and account balance chains like Ethereum and others. Each of these crypto heavyweights differs in many fundamental ways, but this article focuses on their accounting models. Bitcoin uses an unspent transaction output, UTXO model, whereas Ethereum deploys an account balance one. Cardano sought to combine Bitcoin's UTXO model with Ethereum's ability to handle smart contracts into an extended UTXO accounting model, EUTXO. The adoption of this facilitates the implementation of smart contracts into the Cardano chain. Every company, firm or commercial entity requires a balance sheet to keep an accurate record of profit, loss, cash flow and other parameters. By maintaining careful accounting of all this data, companies can, at a glance, visualize their financial status at any given point in time. A company's accounting ledger offers another advantage, the ability to trace the provenance and ownership of funds. Blockchain networks also require an accounting model to determine who owns what coins and how many of them track where those coins go, which ones are used up, and which ones remain available to be spent. Decades ago, accountants used physical ledger books with handwritten entries to keep records about the movement of funds. Nowadays, companies use electronic versions of the same thing. Blockchains use transactions as records, much like entries on a ledger book, to track provenance and ownership. These transactions contain a lot of information, where the coins come from, where they're going, and whatever change is left over from these transactions. Here's a brief overview of the UTXO and account balance models. In a UTXO model, the movement of assets is recorded in the form of a directed acyclic graph, where the nodes are transactions and the edges are transaction outputs, where each additional transaction consumes some of the UTXOs and adds new ones. The user's wallets keep track of a list of unspent outputs associated with all addresses owned by the user and calculate the user's balance. UTXO is, in many ways, similar to cash. A good analogy is this. Imagine you have $50 in your wallet. This amount could be made up with several combinations. Two $20 bills and one $10 bill. Four $10 bills and two $5 bills, and so on. But regardless of the permutations, the amount, $50, remains equal. UTXO works in the same way. Whatever balance you have in your blockchain wallet, say 150 coins, could be made up with many different UTXO combinations based on previous transactions, but the balance amount remains the same. In other words, the balance held in a given wallet address is the sum of all unspent UTXOs from previous transactions. Much like cash transactions in any store, UTXOs introduce change. When you take out that $50 bill from your wallet, you cannot tear that bill into smaller pieces to pay for something that costs $15, for example. You have to hand over the entire $50 bill and receive your change from the cashier. UTXOs work in the same way. You cannot split a UTXO into smaller bits. UTXOs are used whole and change given back to your wallet's address in the form of a smaller UTXO. By checking and tracking the size, age and amount of UTXOs being transferred around, one can extract accurate metrics about the blockchain's usage and financial activity. UTXO models offer other advantages. Better scalability and privacy, for example. Also, the transaction logic is simplified as each UTXO can only be consumed once 
and as a whole, which makes transaction verification much simpler. To sum UTXO up, a UTXO is the output of a previous transaction which can be spent in the future. UTXO chains have no accounts. Instead, coins are stored as a list of UTXOs and transactions are created by consuming existing UTXOs and producing new ones in their place. Balance is the sum of UTXOs controlled by a given address and UTXOs resemble cash in that they use change and are indivisible. UTXOs are used whole. Now let's look at the account balance model. As the name indicates, blockchain models that deploy an account balance accounting model use an account which can be controlled by a private key or a smart contract to hold a coin balance. In this model, assets are represented as balances within users' accounts and the balances are stored as a global state of accounts, kept by each node and updated with every transaction. In many respects, account balance chains, such as Ethereum, operate in a similar fashion to traditional bank accounts. The wallet's balance increases when coins are deposited and decreases when coins are transferred elsewhere. The crucial difference here is that unlike UTXOs, you can use your balance partially. So, for example, if you have 100 Ethereum in your account, you can send a portion of that, say 30, to somebody else. The resulting balance will be 70 Ethereum remaining in your account and the address where you sent the coins to will increase by 30 Ethereum. The concept of change does not apply in account balance accounting models as it does in UTXO ones. So to sum up the account balance model, this accounting model resembles how a bank operates. Users have accounts that hold their coin balance. It is possible to spend partial balances and the concept of change does not apply. In the second part of this analysis of blockchain accounting models, we'll discuss how each model deals with transactions explain the rationale for developing the extended UTXO model for Cardano and provide an in-depth explanation of what extended UTXO is and how it works. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening to that. I think that was pretty informative. That's what we do on this channel. Uh, it's not, not a hype channel or anything like that. We got real information here. So if you like that, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Thank you to my wonderful Patreons, AJ, Bird, Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, Maryland for Crypto, Blue Swain, Fruzden, Brady Adams, Joe Jimenez, Kyle Bocci, CryptoSVT.SI, Eric Parra, at the, the Voice for the People, HBD South Bay, Dale A, CryptoKibTrails.com. Wow, CryptoKibTrails.com. Wow. Getting tripped up. <laughs> Crypto Kim Trails, Climax ZH, Angela Schroyer, and Craig Wadding. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support, guys. I love you. I got some work to do. Don't let your memes be dreams, and I will talk to you tomorrow with the V Chain updates. Bye.